Hi, in this video we are going to go over the new feature in Edpuzzle called Teacher Assist. I mentioned it earlier this year um, with a bunch of updates of other programs and y you may have missed it in one of my tech tips, but I was out at Monac and Carrie mentioned how much she loves this new feature and she showed me how, how to use it. Um, super easy. So in this video, I'm going to use it for the first time. So this first time I've played around with uh, teacher assist in Edpuzzle. So you will see firsthand just how easy it is, or if it is easy. <laughs> um, if you're new to Edpuzzle, Edpuzzle is a way that you could take a video, be it YouTube video or your own that you've recorded and uploaded, and you could add questions. To the video. There's a huge library of uh, Edpuzzle videos that are already out there that already have the questions, but this new teacher assist has um, artificial intelligence baked into it. So when you find a video, um, there's a little Edpuzzle button and you click it and then you can have the artificial intelligent add um, questions to the video. So let's get started. So the first thing we gotta do is go to YouTube. So in the waffle, this is how I get to YouTube. You could also just type in youtube.com, but it is in your waffle. And let's just, I'm gonna do phases of the moon. So phases of the moon, hit enter. And here we go. Phases of the moon, looks good. Um, I am going to go up here to the filters and I'm going to look for a video that is 4 to 20 minutes. Okay, now it's filtered that. I'm going to filter it by, I'm also going to go into sort by view count because I want one that people have watched. All right, this one's 19 minutes. That's kind of cute. I like the thumbnail here. All right, this one's nine minutes and moon phases crash course astronomy. I kind of like that idea. All right, so let's see if we can do the Edpuzzle teacher assist with this video. So I'm going to click on it. Interested in becoming an aviation... I'm going to pause that. Aviation maintenance technician. Ah! MIAT college... Aha, so right here we've got edit with Edpuzzle. So this is something new. You probably didn't see this last year. Um, so this is something that we pushed out to everyone. Um, so I'm gonna click on edit with puzzle, ed, edit with Edpuzzle. All right, so now we are in Edpuzzle and I'm looking at this first page and I'm not seeing where I add questions. I can cut the video so that's nice because a lot of times the beginning of a video has that whole subscribe and stuff you could cut that out. Let's see voice over. Oh no. Okay. All right we can't do voice over. Questions. Aha! Here it is. Teacher assist. Generate questions. So let's click generate questions. All right, do I want open-ended, multiple choice? I'm gonna do multiple choice just because I want it all graded and I don't wanna have to do anything. It gave me nine questions. That's amazing. Okay, so now these little dots tell you at what point in the video um, the questions are, occur. So obviously, I'm a good teacher. I'm gonna watch this video and make sure that there's no shenanigans going on in the video. Um, but let's take a look at this question here. So I can, so the video, the videos, blah, 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 the questions are over here. How do I edit these? Let's see, I'm thinking maybe I just quick click on it. That's what causes its face. Yep, okay. So, true or false? The way we see the moon is the way we see the moon is changes with time. Hmm. Um, so you could go in and you could edit this. So whenever you see that pencil, that's like the universal um, 
symbol for editing. So that little pencil, you could click on it and then you could edit. Notice in here also, I can do a voiceover. So if you have students in your room that struggle with reading, you could do a voiceover. So if I click this, it's gonna ask me if I wanna allow to use the microphone, I'm gonna say yes. And now, oh, it's going. True or false? The way we see the moon is changes with time. And then I'm just gonna stop it and I can. And now, oh, it's going. True or false? The way we see the moon is changes with time. Perfect. So notice it actually puts the correct answer in for us, which, you know, we're busy people. I love it. All right, so I'm gonna click save. That's what called. All right, so now I can go to the next one. We, so we, this is, let's go down here. Multiple earlier, choice earlier. question. Why do we see different phases of the moon? Because the distance of the moon to the sun changes. It depends on the direction of the sunlight hitting the moon. And notice, here's the correct answer. Now, once again, I can click the pencil and I can voice over. Why do we see different phases of the moon? And then I can do that for each answer. I can also give feedback. So you could give some kind of feedback right there. And once again, you've got the little microphone, so you could just, you know, give the feedback um, that way. And da, 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 I'm gonna click save. Um, so I can add another question just by clicking at any point in the timeline. And so if I wanna click at the very end, I could add an open-ended question. So allow audio response. I love that idea. I love that idea. And I'm going to click save. Produced in wow, that is super cool. I'm going to click finish. So I've got this and notice at the top, I've got assign, edit, share, videos with other teachers, beautiful. Um, lazy snowman, I could duplicate, move to a folder, I could add it to a playlist, I don't wanna delete it. So I'm gonna assign this video. I'm gonna assign it to a Google Classroom. I'm gonna do, oh, my practice set, my practice class is already in there, so that's good. So I'm going to assign to my example class. It was already there, it was right in front of me. And then next, start date today, due date. We'll say it's due that date. Prevent skipping. Okay, students won't be able to skip. I like that idea. Kind of like those, <laughs> those um, videos we have to do. Um, choose how many times a student can do the assignment. Nice. So I'm gonna say one, but you, you know, make it more than one. Turn on closed caption. I do like that idea. Um, post on Google Classroom. Yes. And then I'm going to click assign. Oh, look at this. I can view it as a student. I love that option. So now I can go in, click play. Oh, shoot. I prevented skipping illuminated by the sun. This is true for the Earth, too, and every spherical object in space. Half faces the sun, half faces away. We call All right, so we came up to our first, um, first question. True or false, one half of the moon is always facing the sun while the half is not. That is true. Let's submit. Yay, so it told me I was right. And then I can just click continue. We call the part facing the sun. I'm going to pause there. All right, so that is Edpuzzle Teacher Assist. I hope you enjoyed this video. Reach out if you have any questions and have a great day.